welcome the lovely Cat Dealey, everybody. Cat. Yeah. Nice to see that lovely tartan dress. Do you like it? Yeah, I do like it very you, much indeed. Yeah? It reminds me of the country from which I came. Exactly. I thought yeah. I thought I'd make an effort. Yeah, you, uh, well, and the effort is much appreciated. But Thank you can much. take it off now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't because, like a man who wears a kilt, they don't. Shut up. Mm -hmm. Really? No, not of course not. There's probably giant spanks under here or something. Oh wait, so you, underpinnings. What? You're not entirely sure what's beneath <laughs> your gown? I don't know. It's under here, but it's probably something quite unpleasant. It's, very, it's probably very supportive. Oh, well, good. No, I wear spanks all the time. I'm Do wearing you? them. No, I don't. <laughs> now, listen, did you ever walk in on your mum and dad kissing each other? <laughs> no, I didn't, but that is ingrained in my brain. It's literally like, you know those things that used to give you nightmares as a kid? Like, for me, it was always the child catcher from Chi 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 Bang. Oh, Bang. yes. You remember him? Oh, the lollipop, ice cream. Yeah, that yes. guy. <laughs> The kind of, if you forgive me, the kind of Rupert Murdoch you type. <laughs> <laughs> but you wouldn't be able to understand what he was saying, though, if it was actually Rupert Murdoch. Have you met Rupert Murdoch? I've met Rupert Murdoch. Oh, is it, what was he like, then? I don't know, because I couldn't understand what he was saying. Oh, really? I couldn't... I couldn't... <laughs> you, probably, you know what he's like? He's probably like this. <laughs> <laughs> Money. It That's was literally, I, I just, I couldn't understand a word. It was actually at this, this, di I actually went to a dinner um, <coughs> with, with Bono. There, there was like a group what? of people. And I had, to, I to, it was Sean Penn, Bono, Bill Gates and Rupert Murdoch. Had, is this and, a joke or a dinner? <laughs> It's a meeting of Underachievers Anonymous. Yeah, well, wow. I mean, <laughs> but it's an interesting uh, group of people because you can't it was. imagine these people all getting It was, along. and there was me eating my hamburger going, can you dance? So you think you could dance? Not a clue. There's, now, the same thing you can dance show, though, is this the one where people lose weight and... and uh, <laughs> they, they, they might do, but the amount those kids eat, no way. So these are, the, these are the professional dancers who think they can dance? Yes. Right. That's and, true. And then they're told by people who are not professional in any way <laughs> whether they can dance or not. Well, there is a little bit of professionalism involved, definitely. Right. But, uh, you know, yeah. They, 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 they're really talented, actually, the kids on our show. I, I really like them. We actually... I threw a 4th of July barbecue. For, I do it every year. Right. I got um, the, the winner from season five, whose name is Joshua, and he's like this big dude to do... You remember in Dirty Dancing, that lift that she has to do, the one where they... Patrick Swayze lifts up Jennifer Grey yeah, and she yeah. does the... Yeah, she does the Nobody Puts Baby in the Corner. Yeah, and I... No, I haven't seen it. And I carried a watermelon. You carried a watermelon? <laughs> That's part of the... That's part of the film. Everybody knows that. I haven't I seen that. I carried a watermelon? I haven't seen that. Shut up. I'm serious, I haven't seen it. Did, was that a gasp in the audience? <laughs> I, think was, I think that was an actual yeah, audible was, gasp. Yeah, I haven't seen the movie. I'll tell you why. Why? I was drunk. Oh, when it, when it came out? And the DVD release. Oh, that's a substantial amount yeah, of time. Yeah, that's a substantial amount. <laughs> no, it wasn't something that... i I just never seen that movie. I, I, I know great now. Great movie. Yeah. Anyway, so my whole thing was, I'm going to do the lift. So at the end of the party, after probably a few too many margaritas... Do you have a drink problem? <laughs> no, no, I just find it quite fun. Right. Okay. Um, he, he, literally, he literally kind of grabbed my waist and we did the above the head lift and I did the... Nice. And it actually worked. And I, there was a moment where I was literally like, oh, this is really great. And then he went to lift me down and as I went down, I bent my finger back and I cracked the bone in my oh, finger. Oh, no, don't. I've Which got is... a broken finger too. Not from dancing. <laughs> Should I ask you how you did it? You know, I didn't do it. Cal Cahoon did it. He's, he's Cal Cahoon came into the bar of the Spur Hotel when his girlfriend was sitting on my oh, knee. Oh, hold on. Who's, who, who's Cal Cahoon? Oh, Cal Cahoon was the guy that used to live in the village near where I lived. And I, he came into the bar of the Spur Hotel and his girlfriend was sitting on my knee. And he got all tweaked out about it and broke my fingers. <laughs> Well, thank God it was just your fingers. You know, it I, could have been a lot worse. It could oh have been no, right in the money maker. Oh, no, it, it was all here too, but this yeah. remains, yeah. You know the weirdest thing is? What? Cal Cahoon hit me so hard that my son, who was born about 25 years later, he has a bent finger as well. <laughs> That's how hard.
hard. I got beaten up by Cal Cahoon. And but his girlfriend was very what, What's Cal Cahoon doing now? I don't know. Probably, I would guess, filing a lawsuit right about now. <laughs> No, I don't know. I, we, we, weirdly enough, we didn't keep in touch. Uh, <laughs> what, you never even could write to him or anything? No, because of the dear Carl, still thinking about the time you beat the Crikey. out of me in the spare time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, we're out of time. Uh, awkward oh, pause, no, massage, and glittery ball or glittery ball? Uh, I would like to do the awkward silence. Oh, you mean awkward pause? Yeah, for slightly longer than he's comfortable. Well, that would be the nature of awkward, doesn't it? Yeah, but I mean, for for even longer than that, it's like substantial. Is this a sex thing? <laughs> <laughs> Is this some kind of kundalini, make it really long. You never know. You might find out where the G spot is. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, I don't believe in that malarkey. <laughs> Tooth Fairy and Father Christmas. Yes, you know? it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, it's not. It's just you know. When are we, when's the pause starting? Oh right, I was, uh, you got me on the G spot. <laughs> I, like, uh, I didn't. I just touched your knee. Um, yeah, but it's in a different place for every person, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's in a different place for every woman. Oh, that really helps. Thanks a lot. How far away is the woman when you're shouting that to her? <laughs> Because that Probably could be where you're going usually wrong. in a cab. <laughs> <laughs> Crying. With smudged eye makeup. Why did I do that? <laughs> All right. Good. Right, we're ready. Okay. Yeah. Time. My favourite too. My favourite. You look always, lovely. They always say these things to me where they go, "We, we going to have a chat on this show? Are we going to have a chat on that show?" I'm like, mm, "No, no, no, Craig. Yeah." Yeah. yeah well. Thank you. I like your sweater. I know. Well, it's basically a tracksuit. No, no, it's nice. You know what it's got? It's got. It looks a bit like a sweatery tracksuit, but then it's got ancient Egypt across. <laughs> it's like Cleopatra's jogging top. <laughs> It's true, and in the same way that your tie is leading you to an area, mm. thus, uh, it's a bit of a letdown, I know. Well, but, but <laughs> not, a, not as much as where this takes you. <laughs> How are you doing with the dance and take you to the dance so you think you can do it show? How's that working? <laughs> Oh, 10 seasons we're in now. Wow, that's amazing. It's, it's Congratulations. Quite, it's, You've got a bit of money now. I actually do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's all right. <laughs> if you need 20 bucks, I can probably shout you. It's only a loan, though. No, I don't want it then, because you'll charge me interest. <laughs> I will. I went, no, 10 years on. I can't believe that's it. It's fantastic. It's well one of done. those things where you turn around and, and I say to the kids now that come on the show, I'm like, right, so why do you want Why do you want to be on So You Think You Can Dance? And they go, well, I've been watching this show since I was nine. I'm like, since you were nine. Nine, yeah, I know. And I, I feel like a dinosaur. I'm, get out. Get out, you piece of it, evil voodoo. You know, what, you know what? It gets worse as well. I get, you know, I get people come up to me and go, hey, I grew up watching you on Drew Carey show. I'm 50 now. And that's just the women. Yeah, that, and the men are worse, yeah. So, um, did, you, did you get married? I did. Congratulations, how lovely. Congratulations. That's nice. It is, because it's been two years since I last saw you. It's yeah, it's been, been a while, years. yeah. So, yeah, I got married in uh, Rome last September. Rome, Italy? Rome, Italy. So How I special. It was very special. What part of Rome? In the Vatican? Was it the no, Pope? The old but, Pope, not the new Pope. Well, the thing is, I married an Irishman. Um, oh, that's clever. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why? Are they, are they a nightmare, Irishmen? I wouldn't dream of saying anything about my, uh, <laughs> my brothers from the Your Emerald Celtic Isle. Friends. Yeah. Um, no, I married an Irishman, and so he's Catholic. Mm hmm. Uh, and we want Not all of them are Catholic, by the way, but that's a much no, no, bigger that's thing. A, yeah, that's yeah. much bigger. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, he's Catholic, and so we wanted to do it kind of quick, quick, hush, hush. That's not how Catholics do things. They have smoke and things and oh! It's true, but it's amazing how quick you can make things happen if you need to. Really? What are we saying? Not what are exactly we talking about? Yeah. Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> No, not at all. So, I, I slipped in a couple of very rude things oh, there as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So, uh, so, we got, so we got it done very quickly, because little did anybody know, but apparently within the Catholic Church you can get things done if you have the right amount of cash. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. Yes, it's true. I'd and like so to be Pope. How much is that? <laughs> Well, the other one's just given up. So no, no, there's the there, there's a new one now. A Do new you one. have you become a Catholic then? No, uh, well, I think I kind of have, supposedly. I think, but there was an interesting conversation. There was an interesting conversation that happened, which went along the lines of, um, he knew I wasn't a Catholic. I'm just Church of England. Nothing. Well, well, that's Anglican is sort but of it's like not Catholic, really, though, is well, it? It's just the Queen's version of I'll be Queen. Yeah. And, and Henry VIII can divorce as many people as he likes. And yeah, he yeah. So, um, Do you know that there's a, an English writer called J.B. Priestley who said that the Church of England isn't really a religion, it's just to keep British people out of trouble. That's it. <laughs> that's it. But, but essentially, that's exactly what it was. I think a lot of religions are that. Yeah, right? the only time I ever went to church was when I was in, like, guides or brownies or something like that. Right, right, so right me too. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said, well, you know, you know I'm not a Catholic. And he said, yeah, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we can do like a quickie thing. I wasn't pregnant, by the way, either. And um, uh -huh. that's an aside, sorry. And, um, uh -huh. <laughs> nice sweater. <laughs> Loose. <laughs> Loose. <laughs> and, um, and that's not me, that's a sweater. Mm -hmm. and, uh, <laughs> and they said, um, he said, so all I need is I just need your christening certificate. So that was an interesting conversation where I had to ring up my mom and go, have I, have I been christened? And have you? No. Lake of fire for you, lake of fire! <laughs> apparently, I am hurtling hellwards as we speak. That's well, it. pretty much anyone who sits in that chair is, uh... <laughs> well, that is, is, your, uh, is your new husband a deeply religious man? Is no, he... his, his family are. Right. His family are. But uh, in the end, it all went very nicely. We got married in Rome, right by the Spanish Steps. Oh, Beautiful. very nice. And did you honeymoon there too? Yeah, so what we did was we, went, we did like a, an Italian... Feet. I, because I'm not, I've got the bride gene missing from me. Really? I'm just, yeah, I'm just not into it. I wasn't into I just wanted a giant feast in the garden where you drink tons of wine and great Italian food and dancing on the Nothing table. Nothing wrong with that. That all sounds fine to right? me. Yeah, so yeah. I didn't want any of the, the silliness that comes with it where everybody right. has to have a favour and there's a maid of honour. Oh, God, that. tell me about it. Yeah. <laughs> Been there, girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Twice. Tw uh, twice? Uh, three? Well, three, this uh, is... You, uh, did you use? No, I'm just a... Oh, yeah, I'm... Yeah, <laughs> and the... No, I think it's def Any... definitely three, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, no, you've got to have three. Is this just a warm-up? Well, uh, yeah, you're, yeah, you've got to get your first two out of the way, get them done, and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Then you get the third one. Well, have you got any tips for me? You don't want any tips from me. <laughs> I'm a lot better now than I used to Are be. Are you? Yeah. Why? Yeah. What have you changed? What do you do differently? Well, I, you know, I, I don't drink anymore. And I, uh, I kind of, I try and listen and go to the feelings garden when I have to. What's the feelings garden? What is the feelings garden? It's the, it's the place where we t discuss our feelings. <laughs> I don't really understand the feelings garden, but sometimes you've got to go there. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Especially if you want to be involved in lady button awareness. I week. was about to say, we back there. Yeah, I thought we were. It's lovely to see you, Kat. <laughs> Kat Daly, everybody. We'll be right back.
Yeah, go. Yeah, go. Can I? Go on, tear it up. We don't need it. Yeah. There you are. Not as easy as it looks, is it? It isn't. You make it look so easy. I trained. I, can I say <laughs> yes. how impressed I am by your trousers? Well, that's what they were kind of my MC Pat Hammer pants for dancing with the, doing the horse thing. Well, you can. Uh, what, would, would you, you say like they're. Good? Yes, you can dance with the horse. Is that? Not right now. Okay. Can't no, you have to wait till, till later. Okay. That fine. looks good, that show, though. That get that man vomited on you. He did. Blue slushy, would you believe? But I mean, I, I've. I, <laughs> My thing is, is that I'm not used to doing those kind of things at all. I'm used to hosting TV shows. Right. I don't normally act at all. It's the same thing, really, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's messing about. Right, living, yeah. Which is just... basically what we do. Right. And so uh, I didn't realise, I was, I was slightly unnerved, and I didn't realise that they start off by doing a, a very wide shot. Right, they go that, and then they go close. And then they yeah, do the yeah, yeah. Uh, But yeah. I didn't know all the technical terminology or anything, so... It was the first one I'd done, and I kind of... My adrenaline was pumping, and I, I kind of really went for it. <laughs> well, you grabbed him right by the... Kind of, yeah, because that's what I thought you did. Could you show me exactly? <laughs> <laughs> Let me just warm them up. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just warm them up. Actually, um, do, do me a, just pull my hair a little bit first, would you? There you are. All uh, oh, right, I get uh, it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Um, but it was... And then he went... Actually, you don't have to do that right away. It's the wide shot. No one's watching. But he's already, he's already had two children, so I'm sure he's fine. Yeah, he'll be fine. Tyler's totally fine. Do you have, I always wanted to ask you, do you have a, a, a cat? No, I don't even really like cats. Oh, don't say well, that! Are really, you mad? No, I don't No, people like will go them. crazy. There's people out there that... that I really... love dogs. I love That's dogs. not going to work. But that's what, not going to... What's this thing that they do on you? What, cats? What, that's, what is that? that... that... Oh, that's <laughs> very nice. Do that again. <laughs> Up yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very nice. What is that needing thing? Well, the do? cats do. That's them telling them you that they love you. Not, I don't know anything about cats. No. I've, I've got I was, dogs. Do you have I a dog? Would, no, I, but I used to have a cat when we were younger. My mum rescued this cat, and her name from was, what? I don't know. Okay. Tree. I don't. A tree. Know. Yeah, yeah. Um, right. And her name was Twinkle. How do you know if, you, if she was a rescue cat? You just made it up. We made up her name. Right, OK. Obviously. That's what giving them a home does for you. you That's get true. get to name them. OK. You are my cat. You Twinkle. Name Twinkle. Um, and uh, don't. OK. And um, she was always really, really friendly, and then she'd purr and be lovely, and then she'd just... That's <laughs> cats for you. I've always said that a cat, no matter how much it loves you, if you die in the house, it'll eat you. I think it would. Oh, oh. And, and I think it would start with your face. Well, yeah, start with your, start with your face. It, it wouldn't, like, nibble on a little finger or, like, the buttock. The, the, you know the aeroplanes, when they, the aeroplane crashed and they started with the buttock? Uh, yeah. What was, that, what was that film called? A lie. That's it. Yeah, yeah. They One was... of the great comedy stories of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you talking about that? You can't talk about that. That's horrible. That's because a horrible story. Because the cat would start with your face. Yeah, it would. It and would. I, yeah, that, that's cheered me right up. I, <laughs> well, so you have a dog then? I have a dog called Lily. Do you have a dog? I have three dogs. What kind of dog do you have? French bulldog. Oh, uh, nice. I like the squashy faces. Yes. Uh, <laughs> French bulldog, uh, Jack Russell, and a German shepherd. So I've got French, Irish, and German. But you, you, you're supposed to look a bit like your dog, apparently. I think Which I look a little bit like the Jack Russell's ass. <laughs> Little they're, they're, I will never have another one. They're awful. They're feisty. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I love my dog, obviously, but I, I sort of. Uh, and, how but... the, and how's the French bulldog? Is that very farty? Well, it, well, it's not bad now. It was very farty when it started off. Yes, you seem to know a little bit about these things. Not that I've sniffed French bulldogs, but I used to have a Boston Terrier, and he was in, he's got a squashed face and incredibly farty. Is that how Because that's the same with people. If people have squashy faces, they're very gassy. <laughs> That's true. If you get if you get very close to a boxing ring, uh -huh. and when guys are boxing, you can hear them. Really? Yeah. As they hear it's like. Mm, brr, mm, brr. See, I quite like going to boxing. Do you like boxing? I quite like. I've really? Been, yeah, I've been to a couple of fights. What in Vegas? Yeah, because but I, but I like it because it's really like. I don't know, there's something noble about it. It's very, very... Don't you think? It, yeah, it's very skillful. I mean, it's the... What is it they call it? The sweet science? Is that what they call it? Is that what they call it? Ah, they might, they might all, also call it beating the crack out of each other. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's very... It's a very technical thing. Yeah, it's but very... I like to be close enough. Like, I want to feel the sweat and the blood and the goo and the gore on my face. <laughs> I can see now why you grabbed that gentleman by the testicles, even although it was the white show.
So that kind of works for you. Do you eat a lot of steak? Is that is another did. thing? Yeah. I don't know, I like it rare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm one of those. The only thing is that I really like steak tartare as well, but I can't bear it when the egg comes on the top. It gives me the heebie-jeebies. I don't eat any of that. I have to tell them to smash it in. You can't eat raw meat. That's not okay. Of course you can. No, <laughs> you can't. No. <laughs> See, you. I think you're like a cat. If I died in your house, you'd eat me, starting with my face. Yeah, and then I'd grab you by the balls. Well, I, I, I might feign death to get that. <laughs> oh, I've died. <laughs> I, think, I, I think I've died. I think I'm blushing. No, oh, don't worry about it. We have to take a break. We'll be right back with Cat Daily, everybody. Cat Daily, everybody. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, we're back. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Hello. here with Kat Daly. Is there going to be more uh, Dance Dance, you fat bastard, that show? Is it... <laughs> I think there will be. But... We might turn it into a Hunger Games version, though, maybe. Like, dance to the death. And then just make them all What's dance. What's going on with you right now with all the <laughs> death and steak and cats will eat you from the face first? I don't know. Yes, what we're happened? on We're on season 11, would you believe? We've already done the audition process. We're calling it the Polar Vortex Tour because everywhere was bloody cold. Really? And then we've, uh, yeah, we've, we were about to go into our callback week. Season 11, can you believe it? I, could, I can't imagine doing a television show that long. <laughs> <laughs> what year are you on? 10. We're on 10, Are yeah. you on 10? Yeah. Listen, when you get to 11, we'll talk. <laughs> OK. <laughs> or arm wrestle. Or oh, no, it's, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that's fine. Are you, now, are you living here now or are you still back over in Blighty? Still going backwards and forwards a little bit. I'm, right. I'm in uh, Beverly Hills at the moment, but I've currently got my entire family over. You know, it's spring break. And uh, Easter. Is it so... spring break in, in Cockney Dickensian in London as well? <laughs> no, it's you, the entire much... chimney sweep family is all over, is it? <laughs> oh, our cat is she's a presenter on television in America. Well done, girl. You've got here a pocket or two. All right, yeah, all Mr. Right, Scrooge. Governor? Can you have a how day off for Christmas? All right. Thank you. Uh, no, because they're from Birmingham, so they all talk a bit like oh, that. No, no, Birmingham's a little They talk more like that, actually. But they're all over, so it's my mum, dad, brother, sister in law, two kids. So tomorrow. Do we... you have to take them? around and stuff? Well, we're about to wreak havoc on Disneyland. Oh, that, that'll be fun. Have they ever been? Oh. Oh. And the little boy is five and a half and the little girl is three, so they're super excited. The like, good thing to blow them up. pack them full of sugar right at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been there a lot. Have Disney. you? Yeah. And any tips for me? Because I'm trying to book, uh, there's apparently a lunch with the princesses you can do. Have you done that? In a way. <laughs> Any way that you'd like to elaborate on right now? No. no. Well, I didn't think so. And then uh, we're also going to have a dinner in the Pirates of the Caribbean. Ah. Wah. Oh, yes. And You'll be able to... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, fine. And then uh, fireworks in the evening. Yes. And then we're all kind of camping out at it's some It's the happiest hotel. place on earth. Is really. it good? Yeah. Oh, it's such a great fun time. <laughs> said with conviction. Well, the thing is, every time I go, it start, always starts out very well, and then what happens is, whenever I've gone with my kids, yeah. it's the, towards the end of the day, everyone kind of loses it, you know. Uh, Why? Is it because the sugar high has worn off, or everybody's just overtired, and sugar, do you sometimes uh, get emotional? I get a little is emotional, yeah. Is it too yeah. many princesses yeah. all at once for you? Well, I always wanted to be a princess, and <laughs> so I get... Do you know what's good? The haunted house. Oh, no, I can't do that. Why? No, that freaks me out. Anything that's like... You're from Britain. Everywhere's haunted in no, Britain. No, yeah. no. No, it's like this character I play. It's, it's, it's one of these weird things where... Years and years ago, when I was at school, yeah. you know, there's always this, these fra phases that kids go through at certain yeah. times. So there's like, there's like always, a, there would be a video about pyromania or drug abuse or whatever it was. Yes. My year... It must have been everybody was messing with the occult and Ouija boards. Right. So at age 14, I got pulled into this classroom and got made to watch this video that has basically terrified me. Oh, Ever really? Since. About stuff about, from like, Beyond the Grave? Yeah, and all totally. That? Oh, and now right. I, in this Sometimes like, I get me... telephone calls from Beyond the Grave. You? <laughs> <laughs> I love this show. It's just nonsense. <laughs> 
Hello? <laughs> I'm a go go. <laughs> See, even that gives me the heebie jeebies. Really? Yes, it terrifies me. Really? Yeah, I don't like it. So anything like haunted house or any of that. Well, you don't go to the haunted house then. Go to Pirates of the Caribbean, you'll be fine. Caribbean. Is the, yeah, is it Caribbean or Caribbean? Caribbean. That's how we say it. Who? Who's we? Dickensian and chimney sweeps. Well. <laughs> What we at? We're off to the Caribbean for our holidays. Mr. Scrooge, give us a day off for Christmas. We're going to the Caribbean. <laughs> you want to dance with the horse? Can I? Yes, off you go. Okay. Happy New everybody. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> my next guest, the first guest, my first guest, my first guest of this evening, August the 1st, my first guest. There's been no other guest on the stage before tonight. That's correct. <laughs> my first guest tonight is the Emmy-nominated host, Emmy-nominated host of So You Think You Can Dance, which is on Wednesdays on Fox. Please welcome Kat Dealey, everybody. <laughs> You are my favourite. I have to say, you are so elegant and beautiful this evening. What a lovely... You're like a, like a statue come to human life form. Thank you very much indeed. Sorry about my tie. That's OK. I think, I think you've, you could work with that. Really? Oh, it's a bit short, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. <laughs> but, you know, I think it draws the eye away from the danger areas. Oh, OK. <laughs> So you thought you'd just highlight the... Highlight the gentleman's gut business, yeah. <laughs> oh, it gets to be a worry when you get to my age, Does dear. It? Yes. Oh, do I need to start worrying about No, that? no, 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 look at I'm you. I'm 37 now, though. I'm That's getting on. nothing. I'm 52. Yeah, but... 52 people call me from Florida. I don't even know them. <laughs> <laughs> They're like... Yeah! <laughs> They're like, one of More us, one of us. <laughs> <laughs> but, but do you have a showbiz age? Do you have a show? No, no, no I, 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 I think, I think to, to kind of go against the, you know, to try and make yourself younger is to buy into the idea that young people are somehow better, and of course they're not. No. <laughs> no. You heard me. Yes. <laughs> they have delusions of grandeur. Which they? is one of the many follies of youth. Uh, like, it, is, uh, it is wasted upon the young. Apparently, yeah. Yes. No, I don't think it's wasted. I wouldn't want the... I mean, I wouldn't mind the, uh, you know, bits of your body getting all wrinkly and weird, but the, all the other stuff, you can keep it. Really? Yeah, that arrogance and that kind of, I know everything and things are all, you know, it's different than it was in your day. Ooh la la! Man, yeah. <laughs> No. No. <laughs> no, not at all. Hey. Yeah. Now, listen, congratulations on the Emmy nomination. That's lovely. And you're, it's the 12th season of Dance Fatty Dancer or something. Like that. <laughs> the Dance Till You Death competition. Yeah, yeah. yeah, da yeah. Dance Until You Die. Until you just left with bleeding stumps for limbs. Um, no, it is, in fact, the 11th season. Wow, that's um, great. But I did have a first this season, actually. I did the show High last week. I'm listening. <laughs> then lean in, my friend. I'm leaning in. I had oral surgery on the Monday. Oral. Careful. Okay. <laughs> I had oral surgery on the Monday. See, it's lower. Oral surgery. <sighs> 
had a teeth taken out. A teeth? Tooth. Okay. Tooth. Are you had a tooth removed? Yes. Well, they seem like they're all there now. There's one here. I'm not going right. to. I'm not going to show you. Well, you have you got an implant in your mouth? No, not yet. So I had. The, so I had the operation on the Monday afternoon. Tuesday I had a day off. Wednesday did the show live on air. High on Percocet, Red Bull. <laughs> and I also contained gauze in the back of my mouth for the entire show. That's like the eighties for me. Well, it's. <laughs> I said to them, I said, you know what? Tootsie Fruitsie. I'll be fine. <laughs> You're a racist, man. You're a racist. I said... She's a beautiful English girl. It sounds so good. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you know what? I'll be fine. I'll do it the Judy Garland way. Oh, yeah. Well, it works for her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What else have you been up to? You've been back to Blighty at all? Uh, haven't been back to Blighty, but I have had people coming here. The, the family all turn around and family and friends all. End well, up it's because you, I bet you've got a swimming day. pool. Have you got a swimming pool? Yeah, and they're like, oh, they've got a swimming pool. <laughs> Let's go to America. They have swimming pools in every garden. <laughs> Apparently, my family are part of Oliver. Yes, that's right. Yeah, they're like hey, urchins. Hey, I can't. Can All right, Kafna. May we come in and use your swimming pool? <laughs> have, have a wash first. Yeah, here's some washed... Percocet. Here's some Percocet, miss. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, it, they're, they're, so they're all coming over. So I've got my, my friends coming over, and it was originally meant to be 10 days. Yeah. Turned into two weeks, and then I got a text message from her the other day going, I'm bringing everybody, so her two kids and her husband. Um, the ple Bubs, the plane ticket is going to be cheaper if we can come and stay for three weeks. Is that OK? <laughs> so I've got them for three... <laughs> do that because I'm a bit nervous about it well, anyway. Well, just, you know, slam a couple of Vicodins, you'll be all right. <laughs> oh, dear. But there is lots of going backwards and forwards, too, because my husband yes. is back in England as well. So yeah, your husband's a comedian in England. He is. Yes. He's, of, he's Irish. Well, right, but did you do all the... Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's much more top of the morning. Ah, uh, hey, diddly dee. <laughs> hey, somebody came in. Oh, uh, uh, did you see that thing about that man? <laughs> You married an Irishman? I did marry an Irishman. Jeez, that's fantastic. He's, he's very cool. He's like, a, he's like a bit of an albino. He's very pale-skinned. Well, he's Irish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, so we go backwards and forwards a bit, which kind of works out perfectly. Lots of my friends are quite jealous about our relationship. But you have a long-distance marriage. Well, it's, a, it's normally about ten days we're apart, but it's, it's that thing where we just start to get on each other's nerves, so he starts to hate me and I start to hate him, mm. and then he has to go away again, and he goes away, and then I kind of miss him, and then I'm like, oh, no, I love him, and then he comes back and we're lovely again. <laughs> it's the perfect scenario. No, I think it's a fear of commitment. Why? Because I've got my pipe going, that's why. <laughs> No, oh, I think it's fine. If it works for you, it works for you. Look, Never... if one thing I know, yeah. don't get in the way of men and women. Whatever they do, or men and men, or women and women, women and women, I, I, you know, but I, uh, <laughs> I, just like, I just like to see what's going on. That's all. It's a kind of male like fantasy. Watch, I, I, you know, it's yeah. a kind of, a lot of guys are like this. I'm not the only one. Mm -hmm. When you see a, two yeah. women who are very attractive, yeah. you know. No I mean, dry sockets. Oh, gosh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> it's not me you have to convince, Kat. <laughs> anyway, when are, you, when are you off? Are you off December 19th? End of the year, yeah, December 19th. Am I allowed to come back on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you have to be quick, though, because I'm going to Iceland after that. <laughs> straight after? Well, not, not straight after. I'll probably stay to the next day. <laughs> <laughs> but just for a little while, I want to see it. Iceland? Yeah, have you ever been? No, never, ever been. I would quite like to, though. You have to go and sit in those kind of sulphur baths and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And the, the lights, the um, yeah, northern the lights. Northern lights, but that's the summertime. We have to take a break. We'll, okay. we'll be right back with Cat Daly. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> I'm here with Kat Daly. Hello. <laughs> she wouldn't cuss. Never. English people don't. No, they don't. Butter wouldn't melt in my mouth. Butter wouldn't melt in your mouth. Yes. 
I'm very angelic. I'm dressed in white. Yeah, you are very angelic. You're very, you know, that's what I said. You're like, why? <laughs> what, the heavenly angels? The heavenly yeah, angels. all that. You look great. You look great, like a goddess. You look beautiful. Well, thank you, apart from my killer earrings. That's yeah, well, yeah, I gave, I gave you a hug earlier on. It took a chunk out of my cheek. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Right. That was well, just a precursor. That was like a warning shot to you. Wow, wow. Don't get too cheeky. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. you are on a lot of meds right now, aren't you? Ah, uh, it's adorable though. Yeah, Thank I know. Well, we're out of time. Oh no. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. Okay. Well, well, okay. We'll keep going. Bye. <laughs> Well, CBS will have something to say about it, I'm sure. Probably. Yeah. And their bums will start to go a bit numb as well at some stage. Well, they've only been here for a short time. <laughs> it's, it's, just, not, it's not like it just, this audience has been here since last night. It just feels longer. Feel, feels longer. <laughs> well, during the monologue, I think it stretched out a while, yeah. <laughs> time slowed down. <laughs> anyway, we're out of time. Uh, well, I wish you luck with your teeth and your Thank Emmy. You. And <laughs> I hope you win. Do you? Yeah, I do. I don't know if I'm going to... I, Tom Bergeron keeps sending me really nice notes about winning. I mean, there was a time when Jeff Probst used to win the whole time. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, he yeah. Would, he won, like, five times in a row, and I said, listen, we've got to take Probst out. I'll kick him in the shins, you create a disturbance, I'll tuck my frock into my knickers, and we'll just run for it every man. <laughs> well, who are you up against? Uh, there's Bergeron, um, uh, Tim Gunn, and Heidi. They're one person, though. Uh, they're one, they're one they're person? They're one person. Ah, um, oh, well, that's news. And <laughs> uh, may I say, they both do a ter terrific job. One of yeah, them? Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a selection, but Jeff Probst isn't in that this time. Well, then you'll be so all right, then, yeah. Well, I don't know, I hope you win, but then again, Tim Gunn. Yeah. It's tough to beat. Make it work. Yeah, yeah. Bears your own. Yeah, nothing to worry about there. No, you don't no, think? No, no. Now, and Heidi? Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't say that if she was sat here. I wouldn't let her say her. <laughs> no, I'd be, I bet I, she'd no, I, she'd be, I'd be frightened. Why? Well, fashion, one day you're in, the next day you're out. I'll be the same. I'll be the same. I'll be the same. Yes, goodbye. Oh, we loved you so much. Get out. <laughs> this is getting scarily World War II. <laughs> it's a bit, it's a bit weird. Cut nearly everybody. <laughs> that Jeff, uh, shoe, his shoelace become uh, untied, right? Yeah, that's right, my shoelace. <laughs> and I was uh, helping him tie it, even although I don't have any <laughs> thumbs. <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> I have to tell you, that I live it, you might as well know I live in this podium. They make me live in this podium because they're cruel. <laughs> and when you're not here, they hurt me. <laughs> That's right, laugh, you <laughs> Laugh! The poor little white rabbit gets hurt and you <laughs> laugh! <laughs> Do you believe the It's unbelievable. Unbelievable, isn't it? What a bunch of <laughs> no? yeah. Dude, it makes me so cross. <laughs> I've just noticed that I can put my little paws together like this. <laughs> so let me be the first to say, good evening. <laughs> I want to talk like these British TV announcers, you know, when they talk a little bit like this, and then in the sentence like this. <laughs> good evening and welcome to the show. <laughs> you do it. In just a few moments, I'll have a rabbit in my pants. <laughs> Take me to dinner first. <laughs> I'll have the lettuce because I'm a <laughs> rabbit. <laughs> now it's time for a commercial break.